Hey Savvy people, it's Savvy Nick here, and today we'll be checking out Pop OS 21.04 and the Cosmic Desktop. This Cosmic Desktop is now available on Pop OS's GitHub page. I'll make sure to post a link in the description below, and we'll be going through this official desktop experience today. So make sure to smash that like button before we start. And right away, one thing you'll notice here at the bottom is a nice dock that stretches across the entire screen. Now I don't necessarily like this, and I'll be showing you how to change this up a little bit bit but we have things such as the launcher which is something fairly new added to pop os it's great because you can search for various apps for example if i was searching for display settings i type in display and i get a whole bunch of information about things that relate to display i can click on this or hit control plus the number that it correlates to or even use the up and down arrows to get around so the first thing here is show launcher available to us then we have show workspaces followed by applications Launching of the web browser here, the default, which is Firefox in Pop OS, files, the terminal, and finally the pop shop. You'll notice that they didn't have a dock before on any side of the desktop environment, but with the Cosmic Desktop, they went in and added this. So what is the Cosmic Desktop? Well, I've spoke about this before in a previous video where we went in and checked out Cosmic Desktop just a little bit, but it wasn't quite in the beta testing phase. Instead, it was just available as a build through their GitHub page page and was missing some items which we'll see here today but overall it's just system 76's rendition of the gnome desktop with some extensions added on top of them that you wouldn't get by default and you could of course install with gnome extensions so this is still the gnome desktop environment they just call it cosmic desktop their rendition and in the top left hand corner you'll notice workspaces and applications as well i don't believe there was workspaces before there was applications but when you click on workspaces you have the workspaces by default on the left here it used to be on the right and you can select between your workspaces if you have multiple ones if you click on applications that of course launches all the applications that are currently available on the system i don't have many here if you did have more than just this one page you could slide through multiple pages we do see some groupings such as system you can rewrite what this is overall minimal looks good to me doesn't take away from any of the experience so now workspaces and applications are available up top back to the desktop let's look in the middle here where we can click on the current date and time and that gives us a calendar as well as any events we have for today this looks pretty much the same as it did before on the right hand side you have quick access to things such as the volume control your wired or wireless connection settings general settings locking the computer or logging in powering down and various other tasks to the left of that you have the new tiling windows manager experience from pop this is built into the pop shell and if you like to tile your windows it's a great thing to use here with the native desktop environment if you're not subscribed make sure to subscribe below for linux tips and tricks and more operating system videos we'll be continuing on by taking a deeper dive into some of the settings here available this is a pretty drastic change that they've made by adding in a dock at the bottom i'm quite excited about this i do like the look of a dock at the bottom of the screen always available for you to use but let's use the launcher and look for settings here and inside of settings you might notice a new category called desktop and now as you look at the top you can see the various tabs available which we have background desktop appearance dock and workspaces we're not really concerned about the background we all know the nice backgrounds that pop os offers us we'll continue on to desktop which is a new experience for us so super key action this is one of the things that's new here instead of using the super key plus another key in order to launch the launcher you can just hit the super key or the windows key and and that will automatically launch the launcher at this point i believe it used to be the super key plus a space key i'm not 100 percent sure on that but this just makes it a little easier also by default it doesn't have to be that workspaces can be launched if you're used to using that instead or applications if it makes it easier for you let's see if it changes on the fly sure does and then applications look at that so whatever you like i like the launcher that's a great tool to use love using this thing not only does it offer us searching different files utilities all based on whatever pattern you put in here you can also use the equal sign and then do some math like the square root of four which should return two and it sure does it's a great feature love doing the math in here simple addition division multiplication all that is very easy to use in the launcher make sure you start 
start using that and make sure to smash that like button before we keep going on. Hot corner. This is something still being worked on, but if you place your cursor in the top left, it says it will open the window or workspaces overview, or you can set it to applications. So if we click on that, I don't think it's working quite yet as it says. So we're in the left-hand corner, nothing's popping up. Of course it says to do, so that's expected. We'll keep going down to the top bar. So one thing I don't like is the workspaces and applications views up here in the top left. That's just my personal preference. Instead, if you have access to it down here in your dock as a favorite, why have have multiple places for this. You can actually turn these off and not have them up to the top left anymore. You can position the time to a different place. So now instead of having my date and time in the middle, I'm going to put it to the left. A great little tab here that they've added for us available here on the Cosmic Desktop. Make sure to check this out as soon as you get it and customize this look and feel of the Cosmic Desktop for yourself. So it also says, where do you want to display this top bar? That's something that's really nice because I like displaying it on all my displays. Before I couldn't do this and now I can. Pop OS is really making things more customizable for us and I really enjoy that. We'll go down to the Windows controls. Another thing that's been bothersome in, in previous Pop OS releases is that they didn't have a maximize button. You can now just toggle that on very simply. And now we have a maximize button instead of having a right click and then actually maximize. It's right there. I'm going to leave it on for now. We're already customizing things here on the Cosmic Desktop. Moving on to appearance. We have the light and dark mode. By default, it's dark. This is nothing new, but we'll move on to dock. This is new. You can disable or show the dock. And as you see below, it disappears and comes back depending on how you have it set. Whether or not you want us to display this on the primary display. Again, I like it on all my displays. I do have two displays and I like being able to access everything from both the displays depending on which one I'm currently working on. You can also automatically hide the dock. What does that mean? Well, if something gets in the range of the dock, then it disappears. I actually like this because it gives me a little bit more room to work with. I'm going to keep that on as well. Again, we're customizing things as we go here. So one thing I don't like is the extension of this dock on both sides. Why not just make it centered without the extension of the gray on either side? By default, that's there. I think this looks cleaner, better, and more Mac OS like, which I do appreciate. I really love the aesthetic over on Mac OS. So I'm going to keep my dock like this. Of course, if you like it extended, keep it extended. It does give you a little bit more focus on there, but I like the condensed feeling here. So what happens if we get down in this area now? Doesn't look like anything disappears. Great, but what if we go right on over the top? Yes, the dock disappears. I like the way that works just fine. Looks like we have a few more to do's here, uh, which are show launcher icon and dock, show applications icon in dock and show workspaces icon in dock. So interestingly enough, by default, they have all those three in the dock, but looks like with the official release, we will be able to take them in and out of the dock. Continuing on, we can set our dock to be a little bigger so we can see it better. I like the medium, the small as well. If you need a little bit more space on your desktop, you can set it there. Again, I like medium. You can also, of course, set up a custom size, which is great. And look at that. The maximum is 60 here. And it seems like I've lost ability to do custom anymore. It just defaults back to the large. That makes sense. We'll take it back to medium. I'm super excited about this Pop OS release coming soon to us. I would venture to say in the next month or so since it's been just released to beta. Looking around here, things look great in my opinion. And Pop OS is one of my favorite Linux distributions available. I have videos talking about it in the past. So I'll make sure to post those links in the description below. We're not quite done with the settings here. Let's launch those settings one more time and check out the workspaces underneath the desktop. In workspaces, we get to set dynamic workspaces, which automatically removes or adds empty workspaces. We can set a fixed number as well. If this is set, if we launch our workspaces, now we can see we have up to four at any given point. I like the dynamic workspaces, so I'm gonna keep it there. And then there's some more to-dos here, clearly. Displays have separate workspaces, interesting. I don't know if I'll ever use that. For those who do enjoy using two different sessions of workspaces on multiple monitors, great thing to have. Let's see if we can move things around. So instead of having our workspaces on the left side, will it move it to the right? No, it doesn't seem like that works quite yet. Let's just try these other ones real quick. No, and it doesn't work there either. But it 
seems like you'll be able to move those workspaces around the screen anywhere you like. If you do like the default from past Pop! OS versions, then you can take it and put it back on the right hand side. All right, a few other things we'll check out real quick is how this desktop environment affects our resources. Let's launch a terminal and run HTOP. In HTOP here, we have memory usage right around one gig. This is fairly normal for a GNOME desktop environment. So it doesn't look like this cosmic rendition of GNOME has become any more tasking here. I got one gig out of the eight gigs available being used, 107 tasks running, 290 threads, and I've been up for about 20 minutes. The cores are going between zero and 1%. And now let's move on to checking out NeoFetch to get an idea of the system information. So this is Pop OS 21.04. Of course, Pop is based off of Ubuntu. And the kernel version here is kernel 5.11. The amount of source packages here are 1744. It's using Bash as its shell environment. Version 5.1, we see that the desktop environment is still GNOME, even though it's called Cosmic Desktop. 3.38, so they haven't moved on to 40 quite yet. It'll be interesting to see when they merge over to that one. The window manager is Mutter. They're using Pop Dark with the pop icons right now and the GNOME terminal. All right, if I exit out of there and type in GNOME into our launcher, we can see that there's still quite a few GNOME apps, so don't be fooled. Again, these are just extensions, it seems like, to a GNOME desktop environment. Now that I have things a little bit customized here, it looks much better, in my opinion. I'd like to change the desktop background up a little bit, but I'm well on my way of having an awesome desktop experience here with Pop OS's Cosmic Desktop. If you hit Show Applications, you can add stuff to your favorites, which automatically adds them back down to the dock. This is great. So you can, of course, manage a dock however you see fit. If you don't like something like the pop shop just being there always, you can remove it. If you don't want to see your applications, although I took it from the top left here, then you can take it out of here as well. I'll keep it here so I still have access to my applications. But if I want quick access to my text editor, again, add to favorites, adds it right back down there. Easily launched, no problem. You can also have the control of whether or not you want stuff in the background desktop here if you wanted to put files and stuff that is available as well we won't go through that but overall it's very exciting to see this cosmic desktop shown off a little bit more with the official beta now going on so make sure to check out the link below and try out the beta yourself if there are any issues report it back to system 76 before the release coming here shortly and if you have any questions comments or suggestions please make sure to post them in the comments section below also make sure to subscribe for future videos and make sure to like the video. Catch me in a great community and I'll catch you in another video. Thanks for watching.